Good morning and welcome back to Copy Time with Corned Beef. I had great value brand coffee. Now I know why it's so cheap. But it's coffee. Um, welcome back to the second edition of Tech Tuesday. And fun fact, this week is Aerospace Week, apparently. So, with that in mind, I wanted to give some new aerospace inventions that are coming out that I thought was pretty cool. I found this article on cmtc.com. You can go and read a little bit more about it there. I will put the link to the page in the description below. So go check that out. Um, number one here is Zero Fuel Aircraft. The idea of a zero fuel aircraft, blah, 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 blah. The concept can be used in agriculture, blah, 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 blah. Um, zero fuel aircraft use photo, photovoltaic panels to utilize solar energy to provide necessary thrust to the engines. The Solar Impulse 2, a solar power prototype, had nanocarbon fiber reinforced structural components to reduce the overall weight of the body. So basically solar powered aircraft and you know that wow you know that uh, aircraft I don't know if a lot of people realize but aircraft uh, aircraft take a lot of fuel to run you know uh, a lot of our fuel reserves go into air travel so many pe people using air travel a day um, and having having solar power aircraft is really a step up i mean of course this is still in the experimental phase it, it's probably not going to be implemented anytime soon but very very cool concept and then uh, let's see advanced space propulsion technologies a new plasma based rocket propulsion technology known as the, the vasimr that's vasimr variable specific impulse magnetoplasma rocket that's a mouthful. Um, so yeah, apparently it's a plasma-based propulsion system instead of the uh, standard fuel propulsion for spacecraft, and that's pretty damn cool. You know, we're getting we're getting into that time. Well, we're starting to use plasma in a lot of our technologies now, and you know, who knows? Maybe we'll maybe our military has been running around with damn plasma guns like on Fallout Three. Like the Brotherhood of Steel, big suits of power armor and shit with jetpacks and plasma rifles. That would be fucking cool. Yeah, we're uh, I've seen a recent advance in plasma technologies here in in uh, in recent years, and I think that it's a step in the right direction. Plasma is a reliable material, so I've been so so I've been led to believe. Of course, I'm not a very smart guy. I don't know much about it. Um, I just know that it is damn cool, you know, working with lasers and plasma and shit. Awesome. That's rough, y'all. Don't get great about it. I mean, it's drinkable. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's drinkable. One more thing I wanted to bring up here. Um... A variety of companies that have had trouble keeping up with production deadlines have turned to 3D printing as a solution. They are 3D printing their ship and aircraft parts. That is amazing. Um, I, I, I always thought something like this would happen eventually. 3D printing is an amazing technology. You can you can 3D print uh, firearms and you know cars and all kinds of shit i've heard about all kinds of stuff being 3d printed so having a lack of resources to build the spacecraft and everything they're turning to 3d printing and i think that is that's phenomenal you know that is really really cool and the i'm gonna read this from the article the future is here. Innovative technologies and manufacturing processors are being developed on a seemingly constant basis, and small to medium-sized manufacturers are reaping the benefits as aerospace companies look for niche suppliers to help expand their supply chain. 
More and more joint ventures and outsourcing are expected to occur in the next five to 10 years as these emerging markets start to complete on a global scale. So very interesting article there. I will put a link in the description below so you guys can check on it. Um, it's just absolutely astonishing how far we have developed technology as a society and that's why I decided to go ahead and start this up because I've always found stuff like this interesting and you know y'all might too so as always this has been another quality corned beef incorporated production thank you so much for tuning in to coffee time with corned beef right here on corned beef incorporated and yeah I just hope y'all are having a very good morning out there and have a blessed day you know peace